The space race between the US and China is heating up, with both nations vying for dominance on the moon. China's recent successes, including the Chang'e 6 mission landing on the lunar far side, underscore its rapid advancements. Meanwhile, NASA's Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon by 2026, leveraging partnerships with private companies like SpaceX. This modern space race isn't just about national pride, it's about establishing a sustainable presence on the moon, tapping into its resources, and paving the way for future missions to Mars. Join us as we delve into this exciting competition and its far-reaching implications for humanity's future in space exploration. China has rapidly progressed in its space exploration endeavors, marking significant milestones that highlight its technological advancements and ambitions. A key achievement is the successful Chang'e 6 mission, which landed on the far side of the moon on June 1, 2024. This mission aimed to collect lunar samples and return them to Earth, an endeavor not attempted since the Apollo missions. The Chang'e 6 lander, equipped with international scientific instruments from France, Sweden, and Italy, touched down in the Apollo Basin, an area of scientific interest due to its geological features. China's broader lunar program includes earlier missions like Chang'e 4, which made history in 2019 as the first spacecraft to land on the moon's far side. Additionally, China's Tianwen-1 mission successfully landed a rover on Mars in 2021, demonstrating its growing capabilities in interplanetary exploration. These missions underscore its strategic focus on advancing its space technology and establishing a sustained presence on the moon. NASA's Artemis program represents the United States' ambitious effort to return humans to the moon and establish a long-term presence there. The Artemis I mission, an uncrewed test flight around the moon, successfully launched in 2022, but revealed issues with the Orion spacecraft's heat shield. These findings have led to further testing and adjustments to ensure the safety of future missions. The Artemis II mission, scheduled for 2025, will send astronauts around the moon to test the spacecraft's capabilities in a manned flight. Following this, the Artemis III mission aims to land astronauts on the lunar surface in 2026, marking the first human landing since Apollo 17 in 1972. A critical component of these missions is the SpaceX Starship, which will transport astronauts from lunar orbit to the surface and back. Recent test flights of Starship have shown promise, but challenges remain, including in orbit refueling and ensuring safe human transport. The achievements of both China and NASA highlight a new era of lunar exploration. These milestones are not just about national pride, but also about advancing our understanding of the moon and preparing for future missions to Mars and beyond. Lunar South Pole has become a focal point for both the United States and China due to its unique resources and scientific value. This region is believed to contain significant amounts of water ice within its permanently shadowed craters. Water is crucial not only for sustaining human life, but also for generating oxygen and hydrogen, which can be used as rocket fuel. This makes the South Pole an ideal location for establishing a long-term human presence on the moon and serving as a base for further deep space exploration. NASA's Artemis program aims to leverage these resources to support its broader goal of human exploration of Mars. By establishing a sustainable presence on the Moon, NASA hopes to develop the technologies and strategies needed for long-duration missions. The Moon will serve as a testbed for life support systems, habitat construction, and resource utilization, which are all critical for future missions to Mars. A significant aspect of NASA's strategy involves the partnership with SpaceX. The Starship spacecraft, developed by SpaceX, is designed to land astronauts on the Moon's surface and return them to lunar orbit. Despite its promising test flights, Starship faces several technical challenges. These include the need for an orbit refueling, which requires a fleet of tanker spacecraft, and the ability to safely land and launch from the Moon's surface. China's approach to lunar exploration is equally innovative. The Chang'e 6 mission included international scientific instruments, highlighting its willingness to collaborate globally. The mission's success in collecting and returning samples from the far side of the moon demonstrates China's growing technological capabilities. This mission also included the deployment of a mini rover, which provided additional data and imagery from the lunar surface. 
The strategic goals of both nations underscore the importance of the lunar South Pole. For the U.S., it represents a stepping stone to Mars, while for China, it is a key objective in establishing a leading position in space exploration. The successful utilization of lunar resources will be critical for both nations as they push the boundaries of human space exploration. As the competition between the U.S. and China intensifies, the need for international cooperation and established norms of behavior in space becomes increasingly important. The Artemis Accords, led by NASA and the U.S. State Department, aim to promote transparency, scientific sharing, and peaceful activities in space and on the moon. Signatories to the Accords agree to operate openly, sharing scientific data and coordinating their activities to avoid conflicts over lunar resources. These accords are crucial in setting a framework for responsible behavior in space exploration. They encourage nations to adhere to best practices and ensure that space remains a domain for peaceful exploration and cooperation. By fostering international collaboration, the Artemis Accords aim to mitigate the risks of territorial disputes and resource conflicts on the Moon. Despite the competitive nature of the space race, there are significant threats that necessitate collaboration between the U.S. and China. One of the major concerns is the potential deployment of nuclear weapons in space by Russia. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has expressed concerns that such a deployment could threaten both U.S. and Chinese space assets, including satellites and space stations. This shared threat underscores the need for cooperation to ensure the safety and sustainability of space exploration. The geopolitical implications of the space race extend beyond the U.S. and China. The presence of other nations and private companies in space exploration highlights the importance of establishing clear rules and norms. The Artemis Accords represent a step in this direction, promoting a collaborative approach to space exploration that benefits all of humanity. By working together, the U.S. and China can address common threats and maximize the benefits of their space exploration efforts. The potential for lunar resources, scientific discoveries, and technological advancements offers opportunities that could benefit all nations. Cooperation in space can also serve as a model for addressing other global challenges, fostering a spirit of collaboration and mutual benefit. The new space race is not just a competition, it is an opportunity for nations to work together for the greater good. By adhering to established norms and promoting transparency, the U.S. and China can avoid conflicts and ensure the peaceful exploration of space. This collaborative approach will be crucial as humanity takes its next steps into the final frontier. In this video, we have learned about the fierce new space race between the United States and China. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.